Jesus will judge you, this I know, for the Bible tells you so. Huh? Jesus actually said most people go to hell. He said, get in here by the straight gate. For wide is the gate, and broad is the way that leads to destruction. And many go that way. Over the weekend, there were various celebrations in all major cities uh, to celebrate gay pride. There were uh, parades everywhere, and unfortunately, in a few cases, Nazis decided to exploit the festivities for their own purposes. Just grab some snacks, sit back and relax, turn up the volume to max while I'm stating facts. She got blocked by the past. Wait a minute, I forgot. Check out Joe Lax. Joe Lax. Joe Lax. Check out. Check out. Check out Joe Lax. Joe Lax. Joe Lax. Check out. Check out. Check out. Check out Joe Lax. Hey, what's up, guys? I just woke up and it is 12 o'clock in the afternoon and the pride fest got canceled not due to all the threats but due to thunderstorms and it is crazy to me that there's so much that's just been going against them like i was going to pride fest to support my two friends kyle and lane as you've seen in my previous video and everything just has been just it has not been going to plan the, the neo-nazis that were in detroit were threatening to uh basically kill six million more people like just like what they did in the holocaust except with the lgbtq community and it's just crazy to me how messed up some people's i don't know everyone is entitled to their own opinion except you don't just make threats okay you don't assault someone because they have a different opinion than you. you you don't assault you shouldn't assault anyone basically it's just it, it's crazy how messed up this world is and i'm just sitting here in my bed waiting and hoping because the thunderstorm is supposed to be stopping waiting and hoping that i can go with my friends to support them at this pride festival i don't know if the if the nazis are going to be there or not i'm assuming because they came all the way from alabama to go to detroit of course they're going to come from alabama to knoxville and it's it's crazy but um i really wanted to go and i wanted to film and make a sick vlog for you guys but that didn't turn out but i'll keep you guys updated as the day goes on and i'll let you guys know if i do attend <laughs> Finally found a parking spot. We just went through hell and we missed it. Missed the whole footage. Stand off. What if they're not even pulling out? Ooh, I am nervous for that. I can't. I can't back up. I'm trying. To... Like if you can straighten up. All these people are pissed that I found a spot. Oh my gosh. Now the tricky part is gonna be getting out when the event's over. I'm gonna park like this. I'm gonna park like. Oh, I don't care. <laughs> as long as I can get in and out. I'm, hey, I'm Gucci. Oh man.
Hey Blake, what did you get? I got a, a lot of food, um, a funnel cake. I got some bathing accessories because it's every it's always important to bathe before, during, and after Pride. Um, what else did I get? I got this really cute hat. You got a really cute hat. And uh, this flag. Free. That flag was free. We can take that to the bank. <laughs> I forgot Kristen from the bookstore cuts of this. She said that from her view of the parade, there's only one protester and like a sea of like pride flags. So, which is always good to hear. So, it's a win for us. Yeah, so they probably got scared off because of the police were all gonna be there. More than the neo Nazis. Take your pick. Well, that's what I'm saying. The neo Nazis probably got scared off. That's also very true because, you know, it's like they've increased security since like the whole nightclub shootings, so, like any event. Or, like. And Detroit. Oh, yeah, for sure. Detroit. Like they've automatically increased the uh, security, which is, I guess, bittersweet in a way. That we only. With your funnel cake. Okay? <laughs>